Guys, if you've spent any time at all on YouTube looking for videos on style, skincare, fitness or associated subjects, then you've almost certainly seen content from Alpha M, the massively successful channel run by Aaron Marino. Aaron was one of the pioneers of that content from when he started way back in 2006 and during that time he has published literally thousands of videos and has an incredible 4.7 million subscribers. I began watching his channel around 2008 and he quickly became my go-to channel as so many of the videos spoke directly to me and my passion for skincare and his recommendations encouraged me to spend even more, particularly on brands that were perhaps difficult to get in the UK or weren't so well known. I literally devoured his content daily and continue to do so. Sometime around 2013 I drifted away from viewing all his content. My favourite content was his product reviews but as he launched Pete and Pedro, his hair product company, he began recommending them at every opportunity. And why wouldn't he? He has a business to run and a product he believed in. I was just looking for honest independent reviews. But by the time he launched his skincare line, the Teach Hanley, the majority of his content seemed to be marketing for his own brands and occasionally other sponsored ones too. So I would check in once every few weeks to see if there's content that I was interested in. Fast forward to now and suddenly my YouTube suggestion list is flooded with links to one of his videos and far more surprisingly links to other content creators putting the smack down on him. What the hell has caused this backlash? On 13th of November 2018 Alpha M published a video titled five ways that MVMT or movement watches are better than Rolex and boy oh boy did the internet and a lot of his subscribers take issue with it. Just look at this like to dislike ratio. 22,000 dislikes and the comments section is pretty brutal. Movement watches are one of the most successful online examples of a very basic business principle. Buy something very cheaply, add value, in this case their trendy reputation by means of a logo, and sell it on a massive profit margin. The quality of their watches is what you'd expect from something that can be bought from China for around £3 or $5. In other words, they're pretty crap. But they are pretty crap. From a distance, many of them look sleek and fashionable in a minimalistic way, and this means they look great in adverts, thanks Photoshop, and on the wrists of many YouTube influencers, particularly those with a young and trend-conscious audience. You may not like their watches, but you can't claim that they have not mastered online marketing. I love nice looking watches, with a collection across a range of prices based on how they look more than the logo they have. So I understand why people would pay around £120 or so for a watch that looks good in adverts, particularly if their favourite YouTuber recommends them. And here's where our Alpha M comes in. Aaron published a video that was sponsored by Movement where he praised their quality and looks while making direct comparison with Rolex, to which he owns several. I won't go over all the points he made, there is a link in the original video in the description below, but with one video he managed to annoy not only his usual viewers, who felt he was being a shill, but also the prestige watch enthusiast community, who see comparing a $5 watch to a 22,000 rose gold Rolex Yachtmaster as nothing short of heresy. Videos berating him came thick and fast, including being interviewed by a well-regarded YouTube watch expert, but there have also been videos responses that have defended him, pushing back against the perceived snobbery of prestige watches. The internet's always angry about something, so it would be fair to expect that the fire to eventually put itself out. That was until Alpha M produced an apology video, which once again was savaged, mainly because Aaron claimed the original video was just a joke, and he was sorry that people didn't see it that way. Judging from the comments, this just poured fuel on the fire, with many going as far as to call him a direct liar. So, what's my take? First off about the movement watches themselves. Would I buy one? Absolutely not. Because I wouldn't pay that much for such a low quality item. If they sold for, say, £30, $25, whatever, then maybe I would buy one if it looked, if I liked the look, based on the understanding that it would likely not last more than a year or two, and would be no big deal if I damaged or lost it. That said, I have no issue whatsoever with others who do buy them. It's their money, their choice, and no one has the right to slag them off for making the choices they do. I do have an issue with popular influencers who have a predominantly younger audience taking a sponsorship just so they can peddle poor quality items to an audience that jumps on every trend the influencer tells them they should. But Alpha M's audience is not youngsters who are easily duped. I don't expect they are. More likely it's that they're guys at least university or high school age or above, probably working, and are more than capable of spending bullshit when they hear or see it. So was Aaron's apology bullshit? 
and I've watched the original video twice and I have to be honest, while the concept of the two brands being compared is, is flat out stupid, it's very silly, the presentation didn't seem like a joke to me. The style was more informative than jokey, certainly compared to many of his other light-hearted videos over the years. The response of, it was only a joke, is so common that I think automatically we dismiss it as being insincere. But Alpha M has made some pretty big business mistakes over the years and he has always been open and honest about them. I find it strange that he posted his apology on the Teej channel with 36,000 subscribers rather than the main Alpha M channel that hosts the movement promotional video originally. But to ensure context is included in this video, the Teej site has vlogs about business tips and his apology was used as a warning to other content providers and entrepreneurs. Now I've never met or spoken to Aaron, but from years of following his channel he seems like a genuinely nice guy. He puts his hand up when he screws up. He's also a very smart guy in business, but even smart guys make mistakes, and I think he made a major mistake in how he scripted the original video. If the title had been, say, five reasons that a movement watch can complement your style on a budget, I think there wouldn't have been a, barely a ripple of protest. I also believe that the video, in fact any sponsored video, should say clearly on screen throughout that it's sponsored and who by. Has Alpha M lost subscribers because of this? Probably. But one of the crazy things about the internet is that this backlash has probably produced a heap of viewers who had never previously even heard of Alpha Hand's channel and are now finding him and probably subscribing. He'll take this as a life lesson, brush it off and keep growing his brands. But what do you guys think? Was the video a cash grab? A reasonable business agreement that failed in presentation alone? Is Aaron in full damage control? Or is he sincere in his apology and the video was just a joke? And before you ask, no, I don't own a movement watch and I would not buy one and I would certainly never produce a sponsored video with them even if they asked. So hopefully you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, hit that button and notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every week.